time. And there's a time that God is preparing that he's going to shake everything that man has held on to. See, like right now, uh-huh. he's, shaking, he's shaking the spirit of mammon right now. Yes. And it's been in control. Everybody yes. with their toys. Mm-hmm. He's shaking the economy, the spirit of mammon right now. And that toys depend. So they'll let go of it. Mm-hmm. Who are they going to depend on then? That's right. When the shaking is over, when, done, when everything yeah. that they believe, right as they think, when it will shatter before them, where are they going to run to? Uh-huh. This is when we have to be prepared. That's right. This is when the body of Mashiach has to be prepared to receive those. And then they'll be ready to hear your message. Yes, they will. They'll be ready then. Right now, they're still holding on to mammon and their possessions and this, and the great job that's giving them money. <laughs> you know, this is my idols and these are my gods. We're holding on to them. But when God starts shaking and he's shaking yeah. them right now, and there's going to be a greater shaking real soon. Uh-huh. What are they going to hold on to? That's Many of them are going to let go, fall in fear, and destroy themselves. Yes. yes. Because yes. they don't know and understand what faith is and who they have their faith in. Yes. Absolutely. When 9-11 happened, the people were running in. I used to work at the water store in Brown Hill. People was running in listening to, you need to take your windows. You need to stop up on the water. And they were coming in the Fountain Hill store, running in. Here I am. I'm reading my Bible. And it's little old Christian me <laughs> every day. At, open up the store, and I put praise music on and have church. Sit there all day and read my Bible. And uh-huh. I'm watching people running in talking about, well, what water bottle should I get? Uh-huh. Yes. And God had inspired me to speak to one woman and say, well, do you know what water uh, what water bottle that I should get? And I, this and that. I said, that depends on what you got your faith in. It's true. And you know what the woman said? Thank you for reminding me. Yes. And walked out the store. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Some people have to be reminded of what yes. faith is. Mm-hmm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Uh, Terry, these verses just right now brought to my mind is when the Messiah Yeshua came to Israel and he saw a a, a fig tree that had no fruit and uh, later on he curses it and later on the disciples see it that it it, it, it died and and so the, the fig tree is a picture of Israel mm-hmm. and the the fruit was mm-hmm. not there. Right. Amen. What God yeah. expected to have was not there. Yes. And it was cursed. Amen. When the fruit is not on the branches, right. yeah. Amen. It says here it's cut off and thrown into the fire. Amen. It's a curse. Amen. And and that's the second my sister was sad. saying yes. Amen. that it's going to be one of the worst things Amen. that I think I could ever hear would be for the Lord to say, depart from me. Yes. I do not. Who mm-hmm. are you? Now I'm going to go back. He says, now if you abide in me, and here we go, letting my words, my teachings, pertain to the law and Torah. Mm-hmm. This is the fullness of who Yeshua is. This is who he is. Yes. Letting the fullness of his teaching, the things of what he was teaching, which was the Torah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Abide in you. Once again, that's a confirmation. Everything that God gave on that mountain has to abide in us. Yes. Yeshua came as the high priest. The high priest puts distinction on what is good and what is not good. He brings the direction. This is how you should do this. Mm-hmm. Amen? Mm-hmm. Because it was being taught the opposite way. Right. So when he stood on the mountain, he was like he was the high priest, showing what is fit for the image of Yahweh and what is not fit for the image of Yahweh. He is sitting there making distinctions that love your enemy. Alright? Love that person who was an apostate. That person who was a part of your assembly and went out. See, we have some shepherds who don't even go out to see what's happening with the sheep. There it is. He said, know your sheep. He gives the example. He leaves the 99 and go after that one. We have some shepherds that have some people who will leave their assembly and they don't even go and see what was going on. 
in their life. No relationship. Yeah. Yes. You know, I, I, it brings me back to when all that time when Yeshua was walking with his disciples, Judas was right there. Mm-hmm. He must have really loved on Judas because Amen. he knew he wasn't going to see him no more. Amen. Because when he got up to betray him, nobody guessed it was him. Amen. You know? Amen. And the second part was when um, David was bringing back the ark. Mm-hmm. And they put it on a, a cart. Right. And that was not the way it was supposed to be Amen. carried because Amen. they didn't go back to the instruction manual. Amen. The Torah. You know, they didn't go back to the scriptures to see how to carry it. Amen. That God, he reached up and he tried, he really meant well Amen. to keep it from falling, the ark from Amen. falling off the cart. Amen. But he died. Amen. He died. Amen. And David was mad. And it wasn't that God thought it was David because David was in leadership. Amen. And he was supposed to train Amen. his people and the priests because he was a priest and king. Amen. He was because he could go into the. Remember when he yeah, ate the showbread yeah, sure. and stuff. So I mean, he was. It's our responsibility if you're in leadership over anybody, even one person. You know, you're supposed to tr- train Amen. and then let y- Yahweh reveal to you. Amen. You know, humility. You know, Amen. he was always. He, Moses was always in his face. Amen. <laughs> I, I want you to. I want you to understand. Let me get this and then I'll explain something. If you abide in me. Uh-huh. And letting my teachings, which his teachings were always pertaining to the law and the prophets, mm-hmm. abide in you. You will ask what you will, yes. and it will be done for you. Amen. We've been taught that a whole lot of times in this that whole section. Yes. And not understand that that Old Testament, which he was teaching, that we considered old and obsolete has to abide in us. Yes. Amen. As he taught. Yes. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. It will be done for you. He says, in this is my Father glorified. When you produce much fruit, and in this way you become my disciples. Yes. Amen. There it is. In this way. Mm-hmm. There's no other way we can become the disciple of Yeshua. Unless we embrace everything that we are. Yes. And walk not in faith only, but in the faith. Yes. This is the faith. Yes. It is. This is the faith. This is the works of faith. Amen. And we must have faith. Yes. It works together. Yes. Now I want you to know, just like she was talking about long ago, everybody else was speaking. God has a pattern. Mm-hmm. And it's within his pattern that everything works. Yes. And if you can't figure out what that pattern is, then you'll have situations. Yes. See, the pattern was the Levites were supposed to carry the ark. Yes. See. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to stick staffs and they weren't even supposed to touch it. They were supposed to put staffs. That's the pattern that God has right. said. The Torah is the pattern. In order for the glory of God to fall in your life, we must adhere to the pattern. Yes. That's right. And the glory will fall. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you for, for your word today. Father, I thank you for every individual that is here right now. Father God, I, I thank you, Father, for those who are not here among us right now, Father. Father, we have many that are sick, Father. We yeah. put our prayers before you, Father. Many that needs healing from operations to, to recover, Father. Father, we, all of these people are out, Father, but we're relying on you yes. for a quick restoration in their lives to bring them to the place, Father. Father, no more, Father, we desire to live under the curse. Yes. Father, help us to continue to live under the blessing. And that blessing is to abide in you. Is abiding in you. Father, we glorify you, Father, and we thank you, Father. Father, I also pray over 
Give me one day to give, Father. Father, in the name of Yeshua, I'm asking, Father, that you would open up your windows of heaven. That you will pour out understanding, wisdom, and knowledge of your Torah. That you would increase them in this area first. And give them to with the wisdom, Father. Because you said, Father, in Proverbs, a fool and their money will depart. But Father, in the name of Yeshua, Father, we are calling in all that you have for us under the blessing and we will renounce the curses. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, Terry, you said something real important. Uh, it's in Christ. A lot of times people say, I walk by faith. Mm -hmm. Yes. They think faith. They think faith. Yes. They think faith. Yes. Not the object. Right. Yes. Right. You need to speak in. You just have to You know, and it's not that. Uh, we're going to dismiss. Um, I'm going to hear my music. Yeah, we're going to listen to the music. Will you guys play for us? Yeah, I can. I'm going to